everybody. Today I'm going to read Casey at the Bat. It is a Ballad of the Republic sung in the year 1888 that was written by Ernest Lawrence Thayer. And today I'm going to read um, this book that Patricia Polacco illustrated and put a little spin on of her own as well. Casey at the Bat. Casey, aren't you supposed to be at the big game today? Connie asked her brother. Oh, I'll get there in time. I'm the star hitter, ain't I? They can't win without me, he said arrogantly. Casey, remember what Dad always says. Be on time. Always play your best. Don't count your hits before they're pitched and do it fair and square. Hey, I'm the best, he growled. Best or not, it's three o'clock. Three o'clock? The game! Come on, Connie, we're late. You're late, kid, the umpire barked. It was Harry Donovan, the meanest, leanest, keenest ump in the Little League. Of all people to see Casey arrive late, Donovan had a murderous look in his eye as Casey and Connie ran into the stadium. Casey's fellow teammates were none too cheerful either. Game today, Mudville Meadowlarks versus Williamston Hornets. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two with but one inning more to play. And then when Cooney died at first and Barrows did the same, a pall-like silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go in deep despair. The rest clung to the hope which springs eternal in the human breast. They thought, if only Casey could get a whack at that, we'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake, and the former was a hoodoo, while the latter was a cake. So upon that stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey getting to the bat. But, but Flynn let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, tore the cover off the ball. And when the dust had lifted, the men saw what had occurred. There was Jimmy safe at second, and Flynn a hugging third. Then from 5,000 throats and more, there rose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley, it rattled in the dell. It pounded on the mountain and recoiled upon the flat. For Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile lit Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. No stranger in the crowd could doubt t'was Casey at the bat. 10,000 eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. 5,000 tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. Then while the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, Defiance flashed in Casey's eye, a sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather-covered sphere came hurtling through the air, and Casey stood a-watchin' in a haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire. From the benches black with people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! shouted someone from the stand, and it's likely they'd have killed him had Casey not raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's visage shone, he stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. 
He signaled to the pitcher, and once more the dun's fear flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two! Fraud! cried the maddened thousands, and Echo answered, Fraud! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain. And they knew that Casey wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer has fled from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and little children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville, mighty Casey has struck out. Sorry, Casey, the umpire said, but I calls them the way I sees them. Ah, uh, it's okay, Casey answered softly. I was struck out fair and square. Guess I was counting my hits before they were pitched. Huh, Dad. Come on, kids, let's go home and see what's for dinner. Keep reading.